I'm going to show how to import grades from a Google form into Canvas. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go from our uh, course to the grade section. When we get there, you may or may not have students yet, but once you have students, uh, you'll see a completed uh, list of your students here. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to Actions, and we're going to go to Export. Okay, so it says the export has started. It'll take just a second here, and then you'll get a download option. I'm going to save this to my desktop, and the file is right above there, but I'm just going to type in, you know, Test. I'm going to click Save and now it has downloaded it. So, so the first time I'm gonna show you how to do this if you're downloading the file to Microsoft Excel on your computer. The second time through, I'm gonna show you how to do this in a Google Sheet if you're using a Chromebook. It's gonna open as a CSV, which stands for Comma Separated Values. And here is my grade data. Now, there's a lot of information that we don't necessarily need in here. Uh, we're going to delete basically everything after section. And it's okay, you're not going to be deleting existing scores that are in there. We're just going to go ahead and delete those. Um, now, I only have one student in here, but you would have other students in here in, in theory. So I'm going to, in the next column available, here, I'm going to move this over so you can see. In the next column available, I'm going to want to have the new assignment. So I can call this um, test2. And in this line is where I'm going to want to put the possible value. So let's say it's a 20-point assignment. Great. And then I can put in the value for uh, what the student got on this. So let's say they got a 19. Okay, so that's how we could manually um, enter uh, grades into a, uh, an Excel sheet. And we'll come back to how to upload those in a second. But let's say we have an actual uh, Google form that has created a list of grades. So we're gonna to wanna to look at this format as something that we're gonna to want to use um, in the uh, Google Sheet format of the results of the Google Form. I have a quiz that I've already uh, created in uh, Google Forms. I've called it just Test2. Um, one thing I do wanna show you that would make your life a lot easier when converting or importing uh, quizzes from Google Forms over to Canvas is to make sure that the students have the exact right name that you have in Canvas in Google Forms. And the nice easy way to do that is when you ask for their names in, the, in like a question, the first question, make it a drop down list. Don't let them just freely type their, their name in there because they're likely to put a nickname or some variation or something that's not quite exactly what they have in the Canvas gradebook. And you're like, well, that's kind of annoying. I don't want to have to type everyone's name. Well, if we go to that, imp that uh, export that we did, you can go right here and just drag and take all of the names that you would have had. And so like, let's say that I had uh, Steve, Mary, Joe, and Sarah here. If I just had a bunch of students' names and I copied them, and I go back over to my Google Form, if I just click on the first spot of the dropdown and paste, they are imported there right away. And so then when students come to take the quiz later, they'll just pick their name. Now, for the example purpose, I only have <laughs> test student in my gradebook. I'm also gonna make that a required question. Okay, so then we've got a couple of questions that students will answer, but if you do this, then you'll know that when they take the quiz, the results will have the same name as what you have in your Canvas uh, gradebook. So when a student comes to take the quiz, they will then choose their name, and it'll be exactly as it looks, and they'll go ahead and complete the quiz and submit their results. Okay, so over here I have uh, the results from uh, that one student taking the test. So you notice this does not look exactly the way uh, it looked over in the Canvas report. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to just change the order of things here. I would like the test, the name of the student to be there and then their score to be there. So I'm gonna go and just 
if we had a whole bunch of students, we'd want to like copy all of the students' names so we can get them in whatever order they took them, copy them. I'm going to go over to uh, the CSV file. I'm going to paste their names there, and as many of them would have been there. So before I copy over the scores, I'm just going to go ahead real quickly and change this into a number format. And I might even go ahead and remove the decimal places since we don't need those. Now I'm going to copy them. And paste them right there. So now I've got all those scores pasted here. Okay. So I've updated the scores. Yours should hopefully look like a whole bunch more students at this one time. I uh, also want to make sure I change the possible points. So this was out of six points there. Um, I'm going to save it. Now, you might get this message about a CSV file. Do you want to keep the format? Yes, you want to keep this as a CSV file, comma, separated values for when you import it. Your CSV file is now ready for upload. I'm gonna show the exact same process again using Google Sheets. Jump to nine minutes and 25 seconds if you're ready to upload. On your Chromebook, locate the export file in your Google Drive. You should see it looks something like this, and I called it test, so it's test.csv. So I can double click to open it, and it's gonna look something like this. Uh, right now it's not helpful, but we need to open it with Google Sheets. Okay, once it's opened here, hopefully you see more students than just the test student. But uh, you'll show, see the first column is student, second column ID, SS, SIS user ID, SIS login ID section. You can delete all the extra columns if you want, but that's really unnecessary. All you really need to do is copy these first four, uh, five columns for now. Here are those results. In the bottom left corner here, you'll see there's a plus sign to add a sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that data right here. And so um, here I have test student. You might have a whole long list of students here. So I'm going to go over here where I have my student data and I'm gonna select any number names I have. So if I have 30 names, I'm gonna go ahead and copy all that. Go over to this new table, new sheet, paste that right there on top. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the scores. Now, um, the scores here uh, might say, it might look like six out of six, or it might have some sort of slash there. What you'll need to do, if you haven't done it already, is just change the format to number. And you might get a decimal point, which really doesn't matter. If you, if you are annoyed by the decimal point, you can get rid of the decimal point. But that'll make sure it's just formatted like a number. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy these numbers, all those grades, they're gonna be in the same order as the students, I'm gonna come over here. I really need to go to the next column after the section. So I'm gonna paste those scores here. Now, I wanna give the assignment a name, so I can call it, you know, test on uh, square roots. And I'm gonna give how many points it's worth. So you can see right here, it says possible points in this row. So I'm gonna give that right here. All right, so now I've basically got all of my test data here ready to export. Um, so how do we do this? We need to go to File, and we need to Download, and we need to download as a comma separated values CSV file. So we'll go ahead and choose that as the option, and you'll wanna save it right to your, your Google Drive, and you'll wanna put it wherever uh, uh, makes sense for you, so maybe uh, I'll put it in my math department file here. Save there. So now I've got that file saved. So then we'll go back over to Canvas and import those grades. So over here in Canvas, we'll go to Actions, Import, we'll choose the CSV file. So I have to go to Math Department, and okay, so it was test two responses, sheet three, and I'm going to open that. You can see it now says that there, and I'll upload the data. Okay, notice it didn't ask me any questions about the students' names. If it does, you can kind of do like a help it figure it out thing. The same thing here, like test on square roots is the, the uh, name of the um, assignment. 
it could be test one if I wanted to replace those scores or test two, but it's a new assignment for me. And it did figure out the possible points were six. So I'm gonna leave that there, but it could change if I need to. So I continue. Here again, it shows uh, if there were any scores there for students, what they were, and then what they will become. Uh, if everything looks to your liking, click Save Changes. And it'll tell you if it's a large file, it might take a few minutes. Uh, so good, so now um, I've done this three times. The first test before I was on camera, uh, and then test two, and then this one I uh, call Test on Square Roots. So we've got three scores for that test student so far uh, in the gradebook. So that's how we can export grades from the results of a Google Form quiz into Canvas. It does take a few steps. Once you get the hang of it, it will go a little bit quicker. Um, and if you spent a lot of time making some Google Form quizzes in the past, there is a way to get those scores over into Canvas. Thanks.